few moments, we we're going to dive a little deeper into Melo, his history, mm -hmm. what he could mean to this Laker team. But I just want to put a button on this win for the Lakers because, again, people overreacted with the two losses for the Lakers, thinking the sky is falling. After this win tonight against Memphis, the next six games for the Lakers look like this. Two games against OKC, two games against Houston, a game against San Antonio, and a game against Cleveland. Oh, my goodness. There is an opportunity here now for the <laughs> Lakers. You know, the overreaction after two losses was, uh-oh, now with this next six-game stretch, they have an opportunity to be 7-2. and two. They should run the table. You just called it now again. I hate to say, use this terminology, they're supposed to win. You're never mm -hmm. supposed to win. you got to go out and earn it. We saw it tonight. But Memphis is a different team. They're a playoff team. All right, they've been a good team for the past two years, so people need to stop looking at Memphis in that lens of OKC and some of these other teams that are struggling. Memphis is a legit NBA team. They're a playoff team, and they can beat you. That being said, we see what OKC is. We see what this, uh, some of these other teams are. The Lakers right now, you said it, Jared. They can come out of this in another week and a half at 7-2 and two and be a top of the Western Conference, and no one think anything of it. But you got to go do it. You still got to go play. You still got to go win. And these teams, because they are the Lakers, they're going to get uh, they're going to get the Lakers their best shot. Yeah, and I, I think for the Lakers, these are some games right now. They're winnable. Uh, they'll be the favorite. But I think also for them is they can't look at that. They still got to play into their principles. This is where you sharpen up. And I think what helps also is when you get a chance to get away from home, get on a long road trip. You look forward to that when you have new teams because you get a chance to bond. I think right now for these guys is they found a way to gut this one out. Anytime you can win some close games and if you've been struggling and losing, it really helps the morale of the team. The, the one thing we're still going to look at is, is defense, right? And Frank Vogel prides himself on defense. In the year they won the championship, they were the best defense in basketball, right? They want to play at this high pace on the offensive end, but that also requires – some discipline on the defensive end and, and asking a guy like Kent Bazemore to guard John Morant or to be the primary defender on the opponent's best uh, Wing, offensive player, guard. right? Yeah. That, that's that's quite a challenge here. You can score as many points as you want, but if you're giving up 40 points on a nightly basis, that's going to be tough. Yeah, and also, and I think for Kent Bazemore, even though he has some fantastic scores at the two and the three, he has a better chance. The quickness of these guards is not going to be to his favor like a John Morant. He was trying to give Josh space, but he's still blowing past him. And I think for him is, I know this, Sam, when, I, when I, you're a big guy like Kent Bazemore and you're playing smaller guards, getting through screen and rolls is extremely hard. Yes. It's just hard to fight over. They, they're connecting and hitting. You're just not agile enough and take that night in and night out. They're going to have to find ways to have some schemes to be able to stop Thank some you. of these that's, fast point guards. When you were saying that, I was sitting here in my mind thinking, there's not one guy. The Lakers don't mm -hmm. have that guy. It's going to have to be about team defense schemes. And to your point, we used to tell T.J. Ford this all the time. When a guy's playing off you and he's flat-footed, attack him because now he's guessing. What you got to mm -hmm. do is you got to use your length. You got to get into those guys, and you got to influence them the way you want them to go to your help. You got to funnel them to your help. But use your length and make that guy make a wide turn. The only thing, you can't give straight-line drive. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to square him up and make him go east and west.